Center updates. And tropical storm Philippe still hanging on out in the Atlantic and the storm has been dealing with some wind shear, some stormy conditions to some of those Caribbean islands down there in the Leeward Islands. But otherwise, it'll be continuing to head to the north around uh, the western side of an area of high pressure out in the Atlantic. And uh, earlier today, that was forecast to, re to uh, possibly strengthen briefly to a hurricane. Latest forecast track tonight keeps it at tropical storm strength. So Philippe uh, is going to be hanging out uh, in the Atlantic in the days to come. But we are into October now. We usually start to see a general trend downward on our activity. Of course, we can see activity all the way through October and November. We had Hurricane Nicole in Florida last year. And of course, we had both Delta and Zeta uh, back in uh, 2020. And those were both in the month of October as well. Our surface map here showing winds out of the east. Pretty quiet across most of the state today with high pressure in place at the surface and in the upper levels. And that ridge here as uh, stays in place for tomorrow, but we start to see this trough working across the country here for the middle part of the week, and this is forecast to bring us a cold front through uh, by late Thursday or early Friday, and then behind that, we'll see an additional surge of that cooler, drier air filtering in here this weekend, so that's really going to allow our temperatures to fall. This is what uh, things could look like on Sunday, below average temperatures across the southeast and the uh, eastern uh, kind of half of the country there, so uh, that's something I've not said much in the last several months uh, below average temperatures, but that is going to be a possibility here for this weekend. Tonight we're looking at lows between about 60 and 65, so just uh, running just a little bit above average highs tomorrow. Again, are going to be very hot, low to mid 90s on Tuesday. Uh, we don't have much of a heat index as relative humidity is fairly low, although it does increase just a bit tomorrow, but uh, still closer to those record highs than our average highs. Looking at those dew points here again, humidity will be up a touch the next couple of days as we do start to see that moisture increasing. Uh, but our moisture return here ahead of this ne uh, next incoming system uh, is not going to be high, so we'll have a chance for some rain Thursday and Friday, but unfortunately, doesn't look like really a widespread soaking rain or anything like that. So uh, it won't be enough to make much of a dent in our drought conditions. But looking at future cast for tonight, mostly clear. We're looking at uh, mostly sunny to partly cloudy tomorrow. We could see a stray shower or two maybe. Those rain chances generally though at 10% or less and best chance to the south tomorrow. On Wednesday, slightly better chance of an isolated shower, maybe even a storm. And then once we get into Thursday, we'll be kind of watching this to see how how much activity we can get from Thursday into Thursday night and Friday as that cold front starts to push in here. So low 60s here for your Tuesday morning, upper 80s by lunchtime by 5 o'clock, low 90s. And you do notice those winds shift to the southeast tomorrow, so we will start to see just a gradual increase in humidity level. Same for Wednesday, and then Thursday will be that best shot of some showers and thunderstorms, mostly cloudy skies there on Thursday. We could see some of that activity continue into Thursday night and Friday. And then we do drop into the upper 80s here for Friday highs by Saturday morning. Some upper 50s across central Louisiana. And then we get another surge of that cooler, drier air arriving by Saturday. And that's the one that's really going to cool us down heading into Sunday morning. Low 50s across central.